Hi guys, my name is Mahdi. Welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, I'm a flatbed owner operator with my own MC number. And as of today, today is June 3rd, 2024, uh, we did hit our 60 days mark. So we only have about 30 more days to go and then we'll be fine hopefully with most brokers. But okay, let's go to the point of this video. The point of this video is I finally got me a dispatcher. And who the dispatcher is? Some of you guys commented on my previous videos about like, hey, hit up AFT dispatchers, you know? And I already had it on my mind. I did contact them one time, but they said they don't work with MC numbers before 90 days. But I contacted them again on one of their live show, you know, and then Vitaly said, hey, if you got 60 days and you got your permits and everything, you can call us, you know? And then I called him and he answered the phone himself, which was very weird because I wasn't expecting. Well, he's a face of the company, but I wasn't expecting because I've been watching him for so long now, right? Even before I had a truck and trailer, you know? So anyway, I did set up with them. So far, so good. So professional. I like my dispatcher guy. His name is Mark. Uh, communication is so good. Uh, I got a load. This load I have right now is going to Omaha, Nebraska, Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska. Right now, currently, I'm sitting in Omaha at a Flying J. And the load is delivering tomorrow at, I have an appointment and the appointment time is kind of weird. Look, I wonder why here, check this out right here. Uh, where is it right here? Check this out. It says, please deliver at 8.47 AM. Is it AM? Yes. I wonder why. I wonder why 8.47, not 8.40 or 8.45 or 8.50, you know, so I guess I'm gonna try to show up at 8 and then I'll do something if they don't want me to pull in all the way to 8.47. The way I think about it, maybe they make every minute count, so like maybe they want me there right at 8.47, who knows. Oh, uh, So let's go take a look at my load, I got some steel racks back there. Okay, so here is what we got, it's really loud back here. So, it's the stills that I always pick up from Idaho. Every time I come out of Idaho, I get some of these and then leave. Let's go back inside. Okay, so we picked up this load from Idaho Falls, Idaho, from the same nice broker lady that I told you guys about. And then we are gonna take it to Omaha, Nebraska, which we already are. I'm gonna deliver it tomorrow. And it paid 2,200 for like slightly over 1,100 miles, maybe more, maybe less. I, I think it's for less than 1,100 miles with my dead head. So not too bad. Uh, I'm only gonna get 90.5% of it, which is still not too bad. Obviously I have to pay the dispatcher company cause it's booked by the dispatcher and I have to pay my factoring fee. And then yeah, finally made it to Midwest. So I'm really close to Iowa and the load board here is crazy because uh, I checked the load board back in like Idaho or Washington and then there's like maybe hundreds of hundred loads and then today I checked the load board here and they had 1,400 something like that you know a crazy number they have loads going everywhere so which is really good I'm hopeful that we're gonna find another load tomorrow it's not me it's the dispatcher like I hope he will find me a load tomorrow and yeah we'll go from there let's see what happens Okay, so some of you guys might be wondering, like, Matthew, what happened? You used to get yourself a load, so why did you get a dispatcher? Well, number one, dispatching is actually hard. You know, you need to have some skills, like, I didn't have it. The problem is, like, I didn't know where was a good market, where was a bad market. And, you know, negotiating skills. Sometimes I would call a broker, you know, the, the rate wasn't there. And then I would ask how much and the broker would tell me like, hey, you tell me, you know. And then right there, I would goof up. I didn't know what to say. I'm like, uh, 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 because I don't know the market. I don't know how much, like, should I take to go there, you know. Is it a bad market? Is it a good market? So, yeah, like right now, having a dispatcher is a lot easier. Number two is that I would have no time. Like, let's say I would deliver today, you know, and then I was trying to stop by somewhere you know somewhere safe trying to find me a load but almost never happened so i had to go and wait for the next day and you can't really book a load while driving because it, it requires multitasking which 
I don't recommend that at all, you know, it's, it's hard. And I don't recommend that at all. And the next thing is like, I had to wake up very early in the morning. Now, let's say I'm in Washington, you know, and you're on the Western time and most brokers are getting up on the Eastern time. That's what I heard. So I had to like wake up four in the morning, check in the load board and then try to book me a load. And let's say I did book me a load without even having breakfast. I had to run to go pick it up, come back, you know, so it was too much of a hassle, I think, you know, if you ask me, I would say that it doesn't worth it. And on the other hand, now I don't even have to worry about my factoring company because then when I deliver, I had to like hurry up and submit my papers before it's too late so I can get paid the next day. But if it was too late, then I would not get paid the next day, but they get, get paid the next day after that. So now the only thing I have to do is like, let's say I deliver my load, I just have to send my send my papers, sign bill of loading to AFT dispatch and then they will factor it for me, you know. They'll go through my factoring company, they go through the process and then I just get paid for it the next day or a day after that. It depends on what time I deliver the load basically. So it's not too bad. And my connection was also a big issue. So I do have a Verizon iPad that I tried to book a load with and then the problem was like, sometimes it was good in the afternoon and then the next morning happened, I wake up to book me a load and I get absolutely no connection. So I had to like grab my iPad, grab my phone, walk around the truck stop, you know, try to find a good place um, while walking, making calls and stuff. So at the end of the day, I think it doesn't worth it, you know, at least for me, you know, for me, it doesn't worth it. And right now I have dispatcher. I'm really hopeful for some reason. I feel like this month's gonna be a really good month. I don't know. I guess we'll leave it and find out. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll see what happens. We'll see what change, you know, like last month didn't have a dispatcher with my very bad dispatching skills. We'll see what we made and then let's see what happened this month. So I'm hopeful that we're going to make a lot more, but never know. We'll see what happens. But anyway, that was it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.